Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MB tutorial for S Sarah Skyseer. And she says, is it possible to make a quest that requires multiple copies of an item, an example like five Sohagen scales, or simply a quest that tracks how many times you killed a certain type of enemy? Uh, yes, it's possible, Sarah, and it's not too hard to do, so I'll show you how to do both of those things. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is create our event that actually checks these things. So the first thing we're going to do is create a conditional statement and we're going to create a new variable. So we're going to select right here on variables and we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it enemy, sahwagen, so killed, or something for your counter. And we'll, we'll do the next one uh, after this, but create your uh, name of variable and then take a uh, note of what location it is. And we're going to make this greater than or equal to the number of times you want them to uh, have to kill that enemy. So if you wanted five, you'd put five right there. Um, we're also going to check create an else branch. Once you've done that, inside the condition, if they have killed, you'll put their reward. Let the player know, hey, you killed you know, the evil knight three times, great job, here's your reward. And then you can play victory music, give them gold or item or whatever you want. At the end of that, you're going to turn on a self switch. So you, to do that, you just control, uh, insert a new event, control self switches. That's in tab one right here, self switch A, just turn that one on. And then on the else handler, you're going to put your uh, text that shows if they haven't completed that yet. So he's going to say, come back when you've killed the evil knight three times. In order to, to figure out, uh, in order for the game to understand when you've killed an enemy, you have to do it in the troop events, unless you use plugins. Um, so you don't have to use plugins to do this, so that's the good thing about this. So you'll create your enemy, and then you'll go to your troops and add that enemy to a troop. And inside the, the battle event for that troop, you're going to set the conditions. Uh, you're going to select enemy HP, and then select the enemy that you want to keep track of. And the condition is going to be when the HP is 0% or below. And then you're going to put the span of battle. So this could happen at any time in the battle. Inside the event, you're just going to do one simple command. You're going to do a control variables. You're going to select that variable that you just created. And then you're going to uh, add a single digit to it. So you select the operation of add and then a constant of 1. That's really all you need there. So then when you have your battle event, um, you can in, uh, initiate battle processing manually or you can have it a random encounter. It won't matter which way you do it. It'll still work the same. But to demonstrate that, we're going to use Yanfly's main menu, or it's actually his core engine that gives you the debug option. So what we're going to be able to do is see the debug option and we're going to look at switch number 300 or variable number 300 that keeps tracks of how many times we've killed that enemy and right now it's set to zero so let's fight that enemy and I made him die super fast for brevity now we can check that variable again and we can see that the enemy killed has gone up by one so if we talk to our event he can see that we've only killed it one time, so he's going to tell us to come back when we've killed it three times. So let's kill it a couple more times. Oops. Okay, we've killed it three times now, so he should say something different. Let's talk to him. You've killed the Evil Knight three times. Nice job. Here's your reward. You obtain a thousand gold. We got our thousand gold. Now, if we talk to him again, he's going to say, Nice job with the Evil Knight. To proceed further in the quest line, you must bring me three ability stones. So, in order to get farther, we have to get some ability stones. And I didn't put the ability stones, so let's put those ability stones over here.
And since we've already seen that this event works, um, in order to bypass that, we're going to set this to greater than or equal to zero. So he'll completely go past this. And the second event, oh wait, this is for ability, no, not, not for this one. Let's go back. Sorry about that. And this is the first event that we've already seen. We've already done this, and he's checking in this conditional if, if you've killed the enemy three times. So in order so we don't have to kill the enemy again, we're going to set that to zero. He's going to give us this option first. Then he's going to put us on this page. For the second event page, you're going to uh, tell the player, hey, nice job with whatever you just did. Now, how you do this is you're going to control variables, and you're going to set, uh, you're going to create a new variable first. We're going to call this one whatever item, Sohwagen scales that you want to keep track of, and we're going to call it owned or count. And then we're going to set that, and we're going to select game data. So then we go to items, and we select the item that we want to, to see how many that we have in our possession. So now when we run this control variables, it's going to turn this variable of ability stones held into the number of ability stones we have in our inventory. Uh, you have to do this right before this conditional statement. So then it, you create a conditional statement that checks a variable, that same one we just created, ability stones own, greater than or equal to the number you want them to have. You select create an else branch, and inside the uh, event, it, the conditional statement, you say, okay, you brought me these this many items, here's your reward. And then you give them the item, you tell, uh, show the text so the player knows what item they got, and then we turn on self-switch B. So on this second page, we have to select self-switch A on as the condition. You see on the first page we have no conditions, and if we bring him, if we've killed the enemy three times, we turn on self-switch A. And on the second page, it only happens if self-switch A is already on. So uh, then this page it goes to this one. So when they, you've completed this event, you're going to turn on self-switch B. But before we go to the next page, let's look at the else handler. So the else handler is going to say, to get farther, you have to bring me three of whatever item is in slot 190, uh, 191. So on the next page, we have condition self-switch B on. And then after that, he's going to say, you've killed, evil, not, you've killed uh, the evil knight and the ability, brought me the ability stones. Great job. So let's look at this. Once again, I set the first variable to zero just so uh, we don't have to kill the enemies anymore. He'll just say, okay, we killed the evil knight three times. But now we're right here. He says, nice job with the evil knight. But now to get further, you have to bring me three ability stones. And we could talk to him as many times as we want. It's checking the variable, and the variable's not going up until we... Uh, have ability stones in our inventory now that we've got three ability stones We can talk to him and it's gonna see that we have three or more ability stones So he's gonna give us the next reward. We got a ring of ability plus one and no music that time but uh, That's something you know how to add so then he's just gonna say on the third page the one with condition uh, self switch B there's no more rewards. He's just going to say, nice job with all the quests that you've given me. So this is the extension tutorial for the quest plugins. And hopefully this tutorial has helped you, Sarah. Uh, if it has, please like, favorite, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. Uh, I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.